on FSN Midwest. It's been that kind of year for head coach Roy Swalman and the Sycamores of Indiana State. Eight games total under 500 and just 5-12 five and 12 in the MBC. Darren Brooks, he could be a repeat performer as player of the year. And Chris Lowry has thrived in his first season as head coach of the Salukis. What a ride it's been. Four straight conference championships now in the regular season for the Valley Champs. The Salukis of Southern Illinois, they'll wrap up the regular season tonight. the weekend Southern Illinois celebrated at home their fourth consecutive regular season Missouri Valley Conference championship a 10 point win over Wichita State tonight they're on the road at Indiana State the Holman Center on the campus of Indiana State as the Sycamores play host on senior night to the Salukis of Southern Illinois with my partner Charlie Spoonauer, I'm Dan McLaughlin. As always, folks, welcome to the Missouri Valley Conference Game of the Week. We've got a doubleheader tonight. We'll send you to Wichita State a little later. But let's talk about Southern Illinois. This is hard to do. It doesn't matter what conference you're in, Charlie, but to win four consecutive titles, that's impressive. It's unbelievable. And they've done it, and, and they've done it in style. Their game Saturday was a really a great basketball game. Great crowd, great enthusiasm. Everything went well. Their bench paid Wichita State back for the earlier game at Wichita where they dominated and scored. Wichita scored half the points. Here, Lamar Owen comes in and gets six and four. Falker gets the dunk that gets everybody back in the game, gets them excited. Tony Young hit two threes that they needed when things were going bad. And I'm going to tell you, it was a great team effort, but the bench effort was something to talk about. From a coach's perspective, Lamar Owen, what does he bring to the table off the bench? Stability, stability, energy, and in this ball game, when they struggled in the second half, having trouble scoring. He hit two big, big mid-range jumpers and chased down a couple of big rebounds. There's a Randall Falker as well. He's been off that bench with Owen, and the Salukis have been tough, and their depth has been outstanding. Meanwhile, for the Sycamores, they've got a couple of the bright spots we should talk about. Oh, David Moss, if he were on a team at the top of the league rather than at the bottom, we'd be talking about him with those numbers as a, as a possible player of the year. He has been so solid all year, and he's led his team, a very unselfish basketball player, does everything that Royce Waltman asks, a good player. Amani Donish as well has been an outstanding player for the Sycamores. Donish, the numbers showing there are 13 and 13. That's what he did in the first meeting. He's having a great year in terms of being consistent and solid. He's played through a wrist injury. He's doing very well for the Sycamores to have a chance tonight. He needs to have a big evening. A doubleheader of basketball in the Missouri Valley Conference. Senior night in game one of our doubleheader here from Indiana State. The Salukis and the Sycamores coming up next. Senior night here at uh, Indiana State. The Holman Center, Dan McLaughlin, Charlie Spoonauer with you. The Salukis of Southern Illinois have wrapped up their fourth consecutive regular season title. First under Chris Lowry, the fifth youngest coach in Division I, looking to match Matt Painter's 25 wins a season ago. We take a look at his lineup. It's a good one, brought to you by Bud Light. Matt Shaw, the freshman, then Josh Warren, fifth-year senior, along with Darren Brooks, could be your player of the year. Jamal Tatum out of Jefferson City, and then Stetson Hairston, over 1,000 points in his career. Jared Adler, Gabriel Moore, Eric Gray, David Moss, and Elliot Boo are the uh, five starters for the Sycamores. It's brought to you by Bud Light. There's a look at Royce Waltman, eighth year at Indiana State. It's been a downtown here at Indiana State at just 10 and 18 and 5 and 12 within the MBC. We take a look at our Chrysler keys to the game with Coach Spoonauer. Well, for the Salukis, tempo and as they did in the game Saturday, forcing turnovers and getting baskets so you don't have to play against a set defense. Salukis got to fight the natural letdown coming off the big ball game Saturday. For Royce Waldman's team, the defense has got to contain the guards. If Tatum and Brooks can get into them, get into the lane, there's problems. And also those guards have got to handle the defensive pressure. Possessions have got to be extended. There has to be some time taken off the clock and keeping the Salukis on half court. Our series history brought to you by Sirius Satellite Radio with over 120 channels of commercial free music, news, talk, and sports for the car, home, or anywhere you go. 
get serious today and ride the big dog. Southern Illinois has won seven in a row against Indiana State, four in a row here at the Holman Center. And since 1987, the Salukis are an impressive 34-7 and seven against the Sycamores. We're set to jump it. It's controlled by Indiana State. We're underway in our regular season finale. It'll be interesting to see if the, if the leg holds up for a little point guard for Indiana State. Gabriel Moore uh, rolled an ankle in their last uh, game, which was a loss against Creighton. That miss is picked up by Darren Brooks. The Salukis, their first possession of this ball game. Defensively, it's man-to-man -man by Indiana State. The Salukis have seen man-to-man, -man. they've seen zone, they've seen box and one on Darren Brooks. They've seen a little bit of everything. Zone earlier in the year, I thought, bothered the Salukis. That has not been the case of late. They've done a really nice job against zone. This team has really shot the ball well here in the second half. Under 10, here's Hairston. Shot clock winding down. Leaner leans in, a foul offensive against Stetson Hairston. Well, that's a that's a great job of getting in front and taking the charge. He was able to get there. I'm talking about Adler because that play started and developed very slowly for Stetson Harrison. I don't think that was what uh, he wanted or the Saluki bench one. Over a thousand points in the careers of uh, Stetson Harrison along with his teammate Darren Brooks. Two of the winningest players in college history as well. An amazing run for the Salukis. And everyone talks about Tatum's offense, but his defense is an important part of the game also. Easy look off the glass for Jared Adler, the senior from Monroe, Indiana. Two to nothing, Sycamores. Here's Tatum. He's like a jet out there. Tatum's quick. And Brooks, Brooks plays under control. He doesn't get in a big hurry. I think he's a soothing part for the ball. More in the miss, rebound, Indiana State. Good hustle underneath there by Amani Donish in his final game here at home. Sparse crowd from the Holman Center on the campus of Indiana State. Tough shot. The fadeaway no good. Hairston picks it up. Tatum pulls up for three. Off the front iron, there's Darren Brooks. He can just sniff out those rebounds. He's got a knack for knowing where it's going to be. The thing that happens to you that breaks you down is, is when you defend the first shot and then don't get the rebound, it really it puts a lot of stress on the defense. Stetson Hairston. 2-0 Indiana State. We're just underway. Game one of our doubleheader in the Missouri Valley Conference. Tatum trying to break down his man. That's good defense. Kick it in the corner. Hairston. He can shoot it. Missed everything that time. Sycamores pull it away. Now they've got numbers as they hustle. Alley oop. Yes. Amani Dennis. Great job of running the floor then. Great pass. The shot was missed. The air ball. That's what Stetson Harrison did the first shot from three in the ball game against Wichita. But he picked up after that. Here's Tatum. Get out of bounds. Chris Lowry did not like what he saw there in the first two and a half minutes plus. He says, you know what, we got to change this up. A little what? flat to start this game. There, here comes the energy. That's what you want. And you've also the big guys that came out. Here you see the pass right here. The big guys, and I, that time, did not get back down the floor. And that's what kills you when Shaw doesn't get back and have time to cover something like that. So in the ball game, Lamar Owen along with Randall Falk are two players we talked about during our open. It's being key factors for the Salukis. Tatum for three. No. Inside Falker the rebound, the dish to Lamar Owen, and the Salukis are on the board. And that's what Falker did, and that's the type of play that Falker and Owen made just the other day. What the Salukis are doing right now, I think, is settling for, for perimeter shots. The defense is backed off a little bit for uh, Indiana State, and they're just going ahead and taking that rather than handling it. Is there a gray looking for help and a foul? That'll go against Randall Falker. But that's the one thing the Salukis do very well. They double team. They get the tempo up. And they, get, they involve everybody. Once they get the tempo up, if they get you at a pace that you're not comfortable or used to, that's when ball clubs have trouble against them. Here's Gabriel Moore. He will inbound to Donish, the 6'7 senior, working against Falker inside off the glass. Little strong. Randall Falker pulls it away. That's a pretty good move, though, to Donish. He, earlier in the year when we had him in the game, his ankle was sore his, and his wrist was sore. This ball game, he's playing a lot of energy. Royce Walton in his eighth year at Indiana State coach, uh, really suffering through another tough season. Royce Walton's one of the best coaches in this league. Ooh, nice back door right there. That's how you beat pressure. If you backdoor people and nobody picks it up, 
then you got then you start having problems if you're in the end state. Good look for uh, Tatum. Two Brooks. He's on the board. And four minutes in, we're tied at four. You've been there before, though. We have those seasons where you just can't put anything together because of injuries, and it's tough to get anything going. You don't know which five are going to be on the floor at any game, any time. You have to change your lineup over and over and over. Roles change. Makes things very, very difficult. Moss almost threw it away. Donish with three on the clock. they got to get it away. They do. Draws iron, and it drops. And it drops for Eric Gray. Now that's an extended possession right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's as far as you can go with one and still get away with it. On a backdoor play like the Salukis ran last time, there's two ways you can defend that. One way is to have pressure on the man that's delivering the basketball. Tatum fell, but they're going to get a foul and a whistle on Jared Adler. Backdoor, Tatum to Brooks. Just beat the buzzer there to answer at 6-4. Chrysler Town and Country. Before we stepped aside, we saw that Jamal Tatum hit the floor. And here's the last thing you need if you're a Saluki fan watching tonight is any kind of injury. Let's watch his right wrist. And after that play, Coach, he came up holding the right wrist, and uh, everybody's holding their breath right now. Not a great drop-off now in scoring. You've got Young coming into the game. He's shooting right almost 50% from three, so... You just lose a you lose a good player for a while, but that's that's all that, that I think. There's not much scoring going. Tony Young, the sophomore, some shooting numbers to tell you about early on. Southern Illinois, two of six. Indiana State, three of six. Under 15 minutes to go, first half. Game one of our doubleheader. Lamar Owen to Brooks, who has two in this game, almost got it stripped away. Seeing pretty quick hands by Indiana State. They're reaching a lot, touching the ball, deflecting balls. Young thought about the three. Now he has to force it. Good defense early on here in the first five minutes plus for uh, Indiana State. Well, Indiana State on both ends of the floor is always going to be just sound as they can be. And if they can keep people fresh, if they've got enough people to play through this whole ball game, this could be quite a ball game for the good time. Four up the floor. Against Young, picks up his dribble left side. And a travel as they uh, cause the freshman to shuffle the feet. Good defensive stand there by the Salukis. And Dale is into the game. Hairston will have a seat. Well, as we travel throughout the Valley for the 05 regular season, one lucky section of seats at each televised contest will get nothing but net T-shirts, courtesy of FSN Midwest. The fans in these sections have those uh, T-shirts and some of those towels as well. Chris Walton's got to feel good about more out on the floor this long. He's, he's moved around pretty well. Young at deep three, bouncing around. Dale had a hand on it, knocked out of bounds, and it's back to Indiana State. And again, a three. You're talking about a shot from the perimeter. The ball has not gone inside. Defensive pressure is very, very good by the Sycamores. Chris Lowry. First year is the head coach at Southern Illinois. And look for more. Adler pulls it away, keeps it alive for Indiana State, and a fresh 35. And Indiana State's playing right with Southern Illinois. Good athletic play by Adler there, too. He's got the uh, basketball at the head of the key, kicking right side. Trudeau. And Southern has got it back. Three on three situation. Wisely, they pull it back and they'll set the offense. Brooks spinning. Tough move and count it. Brooks is so under control. That's, that's the thing that makes him such a good player. The game is played at his pace when he has the ball. There he goes. Just, he's strong, obviously, in good control of the basketball. He just makes the play. From your perspective, the coach's perspective, does he look quick to you out there? I mean, I look you're trying at, to guard him. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it just everything is so smooth and fluid out there. It doesn't look like he's pressing ever. That was, I thought, one of the better features he showed the other day. He just did not let the game 
get when they were trailing early when uh, the Salukis were. He didn't let the game go crazy. He just plays. Five points early on for Darren Brooks, the reigning defensive and player of the year in the conference. Brooks has got it. Trudeau tried to make a good play, a good unselfish play. He's probably better off shooting that. He had a pretty good lift. Brooks, deep three, head of the key. Darren Brooks. Well, and Saluki's runs come when they get turnovers. That's when they, they seem to feed off that, as do most good teams. Brooks with eight. Lamar Owens got two, and that's your score for Southern Illinois. And answering on the other end, Eric Gray, who averages 10, a sophomore from Chicago. Eric Gray's been on the bench, off the bench, but one thing's been consistent. He makes baskets. That's consistent. The fifth-year senior, Darren Brooks, lighten it up. He's got 11. Probably didn't point out that time the screens, and that was what was evident so much in the game Saturday. Good screens by the bigger players for Southern Illinois to get the perimeter guys free. Talked about runs, Coach. It's an 11-2 run for Southern Illinois. You just can't let the game get too much into a dither right here if you're Indiana State. Randall Falker called for the hold underneath. Darren Brooks hot early on with 11 points. Southern Illinois on a nice run. It's 13-8, 9-2 over the last three minutes and 50 seconds. Tonight's Prairie Farms MBC Scholar Athlete is Southern Illinois' P.J. Finnegan. A senior from Springfield, Illinois, Finnegan has competed as both an infielder and a pitcher for three seasons. He's got a 3-3 GPA in business management. Congratulations to P.J. Finnegan, today's Prairie Farms MBC Scholar Athlete. There's the run that we talked about. Darren Brooks has been red hot. Perfect so far from the floor. This is picked up by Warren Brooks with 11 points for the Salukis to lead all scores. I was looking at Tatum on the bench. He doesn't seem to be in a great deal of pain. Dale for three, knocks it down. One dribble up and splash. Salukis early in the year struggled a little bit from the three-point line. That right, that is not a, that's not an area of concern right now. Biggest lead of the night, seven. After Indiana State got off to a pretty good start. Here's Gray, gets it up inside. Donish looking for help, kicks it outside to Elliot Boo. Under 10 on the shot clock, good ball movement, opens up inside for Amani Dunnish. Eight on the shot clock when the ball went in that time, Dan, and that's that's the type of possession that the Sycamores want and need. Here's Dale on the wing. This is the depth of the Salukis. Guys like Dale out there, young as well. The thing you'd like to do against the Salukis is play people, but it's hard because they turn you over when you sub while you're trying to get into the game. Owen over the back whistle for the foul. Stetson Hairston will check in. And Darren Brooks is going to take a little breather, I believe. This is good now as uh, Tatum will check back in for the Salukis. He seems to be okay. And there's, look at uh, eighth year man here at Indiana State. Royce Waltman, I know you had a chance to visit with him for an extended period prior to uh, tonight's ball game. Well, I always enjoy seeing Royce because I have such respect for him as a coach and a person. It's been a hard year for him. It's been because he takes these things personally. You know, he's, he does such a nice job. He, it's like his team, he's got this game going at the pace he would like right now. Good defense there by Tatum. Owen has it. He's athletic. All the way inside off the glass, no good. Pulled away by Jared Adler. That was a, sort of a one-two shot, and you can, I think there'll be a horn honk pretty quickly after that. Right after that, Chris Lowry went down to Matt Shaw and said, get in the game. Next whistle. Chris Lowry was not happy with Lamar Owen. 15-10, Southern Illinois. 
the thing that happens to you, you've been playing defense for about 20 seconds, and when you get a steal, as Owen did, it was a, it was a really nice steal, then you get a little bit of a hurry trying to go down and get a basket. You're trying to make up for all that time you lost while you were guarding. Bonnie Donish hits the first. Shaw in. There's Lamar Owen. And there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how you know those things are going to happen. The, somebody does something silly. There's, there's getting ready to be a horn honk. And the second one is up and in. And all of a sudden, the lead is cut to 3, 15, 12. Hairston working inside. Now it's Tatum open for three. Off the mark. Tatum in practice on Friday must have hit 20 out of 25 from three. Just, I mean, everything looked good. And then he gets in the game here and the ball doesn't go in. I think he's going to make everything to shoot. Ray, a little punk fake. In the lane, off the front iron, no good. It's tied up. It's Josh Warren who pulls it away. Fifth year senior for the Salukis. Percentage wise, Tatum's one of the top three point shooters the Salukis have ever had. Close to 50% from behind the arc. Here's Stetson Hairston. Little pump fake off the glass and in. Nice move there for the basket. I think Young, Young is the kind of guy that can come in and do that sort of thing. The thing I like about a guy like Young, though, he not only plays offense, he plays on the defense again. Yep. There's your double team, too. Ooh, tough shot and a finish by Donis, the senior from Los Angeles, California. Final home game, and he's had a, a nice start to this game. Well, we said Donis needs to have a big ball game if, uh, if, if the Sycamores are going to stay in. Tatum, high arcing shot, no good. Donis, the rebound. Grace Walton applauding. And he down by three. Gray to Donis, steal by Shaw. Fourth steal oh. for the Salukis. Uh -huh. Gray, Gray is, I'm telling you, he's had a rough go trying to get the ball. He's trying to do a little too much too quickly, I think. Get out of bounds by Indiana State. Our doubleheader of the NBC presented by State Farm. Why can't I come up? Sorry, Sarah, but there's no girls allowed. Not even girls with old recipe ice cream. 17-14 in favor of Southern Illinois. 7.54 to go. First half, we take a look at the Valley standing. It's brought to you by Edward Jones. And uh, just released today, Southern Illinois, you see 24-6 and six overall, Coach. But uh, in one poll, they're number 25 in the coaches' poll, and number 26 in the other. That is so difficult to crack that, that little barrier that's mental in so many people's minds. And uh, congratulations again to the Salukis. They, they just need to make sure that they don't do anything to change that in this ball. 7 of 17 offensively for Southern Illinois. Indiana State at 50%. 6 of 12 shooting. Well played ball game so far. Both teams. Shaw got it blocked. We'll go the other way. David Moss has been quiet so far for Indiana State. They've been all over him. Ray hits the deck, thrown out of bounds by Jared Adler. Another turnover, number six in this ball game against Indiana State. Salukis have got quite a bit of strength, along with being quick, athletic. Play. They're, they're strong. Gray just ran into a roadblock there. Tatum to Young. And a shuffle of the uh, feet, and he'll go the other way. Again, that's a tendency you have when someone's controlling the clock and forcing you to play defense. When you get to the offensive end, you've got to force yourself to mentally slow down and, and physically slow down just a little, not rush them. Shot up left side. It's a three and hit by Eric Gray. I'm going to be honest with you. I like Gray better shooting the ball than passing. Yep. Answering on the other end is Hairston. I think on that occasion, Royce Walton's making a pretty valid point. There's a reason the guy is on his, sitting on his keister. Tatum's on Gray. Keep an eye on that matchup there. Kicked out to Adler. Shaw 
but the hand up may have uh, altered the shot just slightly enough. Now here's where you can push the ball down. If you're, if you're Southern Illinois, push it down and then try to get something just exactly where they got it. And again, Shaw gets it blocked, the freshman. They're very high on Matt Shaw, the first team All-State performer last year from Centralia, Illinois. Freshman that's been inserted into their starting lineup. Here's Gray. Around Young, and he hits the shot again. Good screen by Adler to start that little sequence. Then, when you have to close quickly, that's when someone like Gray goes around. 2019, Southern Illinois. Hairston on the baseline. Kick it outside, good ball movement. Young, his second three rattles out. Rebound, Indiana State pulled away by Adler and a chance for them to take the lead. At one point, they're down by seven. Warren is whistled for the foul and a hold underneath. Well, if you're looking for the season's hottest styles, Aeropostale provides the hottest athletically inspired clothes for guys and girls. For store locations, visit our website at aeropostale.com. Proud sponsor of the NBC. Nice effort here in the first half by Indiana State at home. See what Indiana State's doing, too. They're pushing the ball down the floor. They're forcing Southern's men to run. The big men have to run down the floor. Gray on the baseline, no good. Kept alive by Indiana State. Great hustle underneath. Wide open, the left hand, and a lead. Mikjelovic, the freshman. Well, he we knew very well that this could be this type of ball game. Here's Warren inside the arc and a high arcing shot. That's a big play. That's a senior play right there. Things aren't going very well. Kind of struggling a little. He just steps up and does something that uh, Indiana State hadn't been seen until. Lead back to Southern Illinois, 22-21. Here's Gabriel Moore. Now Danish. Another new face for the Salukis. Moore. Got it. Five on the shot clock. A new face you're talking about, Jamal Foster, a redshirt freshman. He played in the big ball game the other day. Foul trouble really bothered the Salukis. And their bench had to play in the front. Brooks, Tatum. He'll try the three. Got it. Jamal Tatum. That's the way he shot it there the other day. That's... Tatum is a 41% career three-point shooter. Over 60 this year. Second leading score for the Salukis. That one rattles out. And it's going to be off the hands of Yelovich. We step aside. The NBC presented by State Farm. Game one of our doubleheader on this Monday night. The number one seed, of course, will be Southern Illinois. They will play at noon. And uh, Wichita State will be the number two seed. Uh, they'll play in the evening. It'll be a, a very, very good tournament. It's, there's going to be a lot on the line for a lot of people. And you can expect some really good basketball. Darren Brooks leads all scores. He has 11 for the Salukis. 4-4 four, four shooting. A couple of threes mixed in. There's Tatum. Patient here, Brooks travel. Defense by Indiana State has been very, very good. They've been in man and stayed in man all evening. David Moss with the basketball. He's been quiet and old of two shooting. Ross Walton's got to be happy that he's been able to keep Gabriel Moore on the floor as long as he has. They weren't even sure if he'd play. Yeah. Donish looking for help. It's Adler. Feeds inside. We're at 10 on the shot clock. Trudeau looking for help. It's Adler. Inside. Donish. Little baby hook. Off the glass and got it. Amani Donish. He's in double figures with 10. Four of six shooting. 
Well, that on that occasion he got in too deep. If you're the if you're Saluki, you don't want him catching the ball that close to the basket. Here's Dale. He'll try a three. Walked into the shot. And that is a shooter's roll if it bounces in, and it does. That took about four bounces and dropped. You wonder why Royce Walton is gray-headed. <laughs> that, that one right there, could, you would turn from gray to bald on that one. Are you speaking uh, from experience? Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I certainly am. <laughs> Here's Moss, forced the shot. Dale lost the handle. Warren helps him out. Under two minutes to play. It's 28-25 Southern Illinois. A couple of big possessions right here. Tatum oh, spins my. it off the glass. Oh, my. That is a very, very nice athletic play by a good basketball player. Tatum with five. Just over a minute and a half to play. 30-25 Southern Illinois. Trudeau from the free throw line, knocks it down. Indiana State just hanging around here at home. They will either be the number nine or ten seed in Arch Madness this weekend, depending on what happens tonight. Mike Dale with the basketball, right side. Picks up his dribble, under 15 on the shot clock. Foster pops out, and now it's Tatum. Tatum trying to break down his man. Spins, tough shot, got it. Jamal Tatum, two consecutive possessions with a couple of buckets. Under a minute to go. Difference of 16 seconds from the shot clock and the game clock. Adler. Off a pick for Moss. No. And Brooks will have it. A difference of one second from the game clock and the shot clock. So we presume the Salukis will take the Final shot of our first half, 32-27. And Darren Brooks will back off. He's uh, guarded by Moss. Now Mike Dale pops out, number 15. And a foul quickly on Trudeau. Stay around at halftime, the Cardinal Glennon Halftime Report. Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital, where our love for kids just keeps on growing. Four point eight seconds to go. Brooks will inbound for Southern Illinois. Here's Dale, cutting. Leans in, no good, pulled away by Indiana State. Then Brooks got it. If it goes, it will not count anyway. Right after the buzzer. And that does it for our first half. It's been a good one so far. Southern Illinois, the conference champions, with a lead of five. It's 32 to 27. Let's check in with Charlie Spoonhour. Royce, well played first half. You've got to be happy with extended possessions on offense, and your defense has been exceptional. Yeah, I mean, they play possession basketball the same as we do. They just do it a little bit better, and our turnovers is a difference there. If you're playing possession by possession, you can't turn the basketball over. Thanks, Royce. Six turnovers in that first half for Indiana State. That's the Mercy Health Plans for the second half. Mercy Health Plans providing innovative health coverage that empowers members to take responsibility for their health. Visit MercyHealthPlans.com. Cardinal Glennon, Children's Hospital. Halftime report is here. We're back with more in just a moment. It's halftime, 32-27 in game one of our NBC doubleheader presented by State Farm. Incredible dogs. Cardinal Glennon, Children's Halftime Report rolls on. Tonight's O'Reilly Auto Parts Millennium Moment focuses on the 79 NCAA tournament run by the Indiana State Sycamores. You know that man. He was the National Player of the Year, Larry Bird, and Indiana State had won 33 consecutive games to meet Magic Johnson and the Michigan State Spartans. Despite 19 and 13 boards from Bird in his final college game, Michigan State beat Indiana State for tonight's O'Reilly Auto Parts Millennium Moment.
Tonight's Aero Post style Missouri Valley Conference legend is Ken Williams of Southern Illinois. A native of Mount Vernon, Illinois, Williams is only one of two Southern Illinois players to score 2,000 or more points in a career. Three-time all-conference choice, he played on two NBC regular season champs. The 2000 NBC freshman and newcomer of the year, Southern Illinois' Ken Williams. Tonight's Aero Post style Missouri Valley Conference legend. Tonight's famous alumni is brought to you by Mohila. When considering loan options for your education, call 1-800-6-MOHILA. You know that man, the former quarterback at Southern Illinois. Jim Hart, a great college competitor. It translated into a great career with the St. Louis Cardinals. He's our famous alumni. It's brought to you by Mohila. Thirty-two twenty-seven halftime report rolls on. Let's check in with the Mercy Health Plans for the second half with Coach Lowry and Coach Spoonauer. Coach, I know you'd like to have a little more cushion here at halftime, but I thought it was a well-played first half. I thought we were a little stagnant offensively. Took some some poor shots, shot selection, but um, I thought we guarded them well. We just got to get our energy level up and play a little bit harder. Good luck, second half. Thank you. Chris Lowry and our Mercy Health Plans for the second half, providing innovative health coverage that empowers members to take responsibility for their health. Visit MercyHealthPlans.com. Let's take a look at the first half stats. After 20 minutes of play here from uh, Indiana State, well played as uh, Charlie Spoonauer was saying. Indiana State at home shooting 55%. Probably the biggest thing there, Coach, the fact that they turned the ball over six times as opposed to just three for Southern Illinois on the road. Well, I know Coach Waltman was upset about the turnovers, but they didn't lead directly to baskets, and that's such a big issue when you're playing against Southern Illinois. I would not be surprised to see Chris Lowry extend his defense down the floor and see if he can get some more double teams teams to get some things happening. Amron Yui, our first half stats. Great job on the interview, by the way. Probing <laughs> as always. <laughs> At least Royce didn't turn me into a straight man tonight. He was, I got him before the game, and I said, no more of that now. <laughs> <laughs> Last time we did it, it was... Uh... Charlie Spoonauer asking a question, and it was about Charlie Spoonauer on the floor laughing so hard. Royce, Royce and I go back, and we've got a little history, and it's a good history. And I've got one with Chris, too. He's, he, I asked him how many times he beat us with the last shot, if it was two or three, and he couldn't remember. I really appreciate that. <laughs> he was a part of a couple of uh, NCAA teams, and Rich Heron, the Salukis. Southern Illinois with the first possession of our second half. Man to man on both sides, same starting five on both sides. There's a bruise, there's a bump on the hand right there. And if you'll look in the corner, we've got a Tatum with a sore with a sore wrist. And that's not good for the Salukis. He's holding his wrist now. Darren Brooks, his third three of the night. He is perfect from the floor tonight. One of one from the free throw line with the mix of the steal, but he just stepped out of bounds. But Brooks is lying tonight, coach. And he does it just so quietly. Five of five from the field. Three of three from behind the arc. One of one from the free throw line. And here's Darren Brooks doing what uh, he's done best all night. Well, and I tell you, he shot the ball well, but his defense on that occasion, you see Stetson Harrison challenging the pass there. Uh, those guys that were probably challenged at halftime to pick the tempo up. I don't mean in a mean way, but let's go. You know, we're, we're trying to act like we're going to the NCAA tournament and be good teams. You know, that's what you have to do. You've got to play every game, and you've got to play hard. Eight-point lead for the Salukis. You and I were talking during the uh, Marshall Wireless pregame show, the fact that... Missouri Valley Conference very easily would not be a, a surprise to see them get three teams in. No, particularly if uh, if Southern Illinois does not win the tournament. Uh, if Southern wins the tournament, it, it probably means that you're going to have two. It's game one of our doubleheader. Missouri Valley Conference presented by State Farm. It'll be senior night at Wichita State this evening. They'll play host in Northern Iowa. That's a foul. Take your choice, either Warner Brooks, and they're going to put it on uh, Derek Brooks, Darren Brooks. Yeah. I tell you, nothing comes very easy. Are we going to shoot the ball now? I this is going to turn. Here's the here coming off the screen, and there's going to be it's uh, it's going to be a two-shot foul. So David Moss at the line, looking for his first point tonight. 
Now that I, that's a surprise to me, and then for him to miss a free throw is, is you know, this may be a, a slow starting night for him to score. That was uh, judgment. That was judgment whether that should be a shot. I kind of agree with the officials for a change. One of two from the line, so he's on the board. 80% free throw shooter. A nice conversation right in front of us with Chris Lowry and our referees. And Chris again did not win. As, as <laughs> shockingly, <laughs> no, as no coach ever does. Back out to Josh Warren. Here's Brooks. Matt Shaw to Tatum. Warren has set three good screens on this one possession. Great pass, Tatum to Shaw. Did you see Shaw? He's learned something. Instead of going up with his right hand, that would have been blocked. He held off and used his left hand. Very, very good play. Means he's learned. 37-28. This is not any fun to guard right now. What, what Southern Illinois is having to guard, if you can see all the screens, if you're running into somebody all the time, it, it makes life just kind of miserable. Here's Moss. Good pass inside. Tough shot. The fadeaway won't drop. Warn the rebound for Southern Illinois. And this is what the Salukis want. They want a, a little quicker shot than that, but then they want to push it down and find something easy. And it's been hard to find tonight. Stetson Hairston for Southern Illinois to Shaw. A little careless pass inside. I'll tell you that the defense has been very, very good for Indiana State. And I know Chris Lowry would think that probably his guys are not sharp as sharp as he would like on the offense. Again. Not as crisp as they were on occasion the other night. Wide open, head of the key, and Missing everything, Jared Adler. Adler's not very thrilled with his own work there. The time to think about it, tie it up. Chris Lowry is saying, why is Indiana State uh, having the basketball number one? And the other thing is, you have to question the shot clock as well. That didn't draw iron, and they gave him the fresh 35. And now we're going to have to go back to the monitors, as they say, and this can uh, this consumes a little time. I don't know about you, but I think that they've gone to the uh, replays way too much this year in college basketball across the board. I like the way they're doing this. Uh, Jerry Pollard's come over and seems to have some information for everyone. Would you agree with that, though? They just go to this way too much. It seems it seems that way to me. I'm because they've they've extended the use or the amount of use you can have. You know, it just makes you wonder. And uh, here's the shot right here. I didn't see anyone on. Oh, there he comes right there. There comes the defense, and so possibly there's the touch. Apparently it was. 17's what the, is the time you're going to see. And off the inbound, a miss. Rebound inside, and the putback is good. Amani Donna, she's been active. The ball is just not going in the goal for David, uh, David Moss right now. And a travel on the other end. Stetson Hairston, so back to Indiana State. This is the type of ball game where you, if you don't get past the seven and nines, you, you, if you're Southern Illinois, if you allow Indiana State to stay in, the longer this goes, that just, uh, you, give, you give people life. And that, that's not a good idea. Adler guarded by Shaw on the right side, not a more. If you were wondering about his minutes, he's played an awful lot. Donish missed everything, Shaw the rebound. Donish took a shot that I'm sure he probably can make, but that's not his strong suit. Walker along with Lamar Owen will check in momentarily. Tatum just inside the arc. Brooks the rebound, and he's fouled underneath on the put back by Jared Adler. How about the active hands of Darren Brooks? You know, that's the thing, you've got a guard. That's your that's your guard rebounding right there. Going in amongst people. That's not one of those that bounced to him. He went after the basketball here, tipped it to himself, and draws the foul. Give you the line now on Brooks. 15 points. There you see the two substitutions. But for Darren Brooks, 15 points. Two assists, four rebounds, perfect from the line, and perfect from the field. Now that's three minutes into the half. Here comes two fresh inside players. That get after it. That get after it, absolutely. To me, that is what uh, has separated the Salukis from everybody in this league this year, the fact that their depth is so good. Although 
the guys that are not big scorers, and one of them right there is Falker. He's not a big scorer, but he's a hustle player, and he'll rebound the ball, and he's accepted a role, and that's that's when you have a good basketball team, when people are, are not selfish. Wash, the look away and then off the glass. He was probably beginning to wonder if one was going to go in tonight. This, is, uh, this has been a tough night for him on the offensive end. Nothing wrong with the way he's played defense. Only three points on the offensive end matched up here with Darren Brooks. Tatum pulls it back. Here's it. Brooks. He'll try another shot. Rattles out. Fall for the rebound. That's what you're talking about there, Coach. That's, that's fresh, fresh people with a lot of energy. Kirsten inside the lefty can't get it to drop strong rebound Adler. And watch now watch the Sycamores they're running the floor there's Donish sprinting the floor. Gray on the baseline Adler ball movement here trying to find the open man. Now it's more almost a steal for Tatum. Moss has got it. Tatum throws it out of bounds. 15 10 to go game one of our NBC doubleheader. And finally, one drops. He's only got three. Back at Indiana State, seven point lead for the Salukis. Game one of our NBC doubleheader presented by State Farm. There's Falker. We were talking about him. There he screens. There he posts up. Goes after the rebound. And rather than go back up in a crowd, throws the ball out. Start the offense again. Set some more screens. Keep playing hard. Numbers for Falker this season. Eighth in the uh, conference in blocks. Thought he was great to meet the Falkers. <laughs> have you seen that movie yet? I've seen them. Yes, I have seen them. It's a very good movie. See, there he is on the double team. Great pass. And great good finish. You didn't like that, did you? Yes, they're in the Falcons. No, I like the I like the pass. Okay, good. I'm trying to get you to smile, maybe laugh a bit. <laughs> Five point lead. Indiana State hanging around. There's the long pass over to Tatum. Under 15 on the shot clock. Jamal Tatum. There's the he can shoot it off the mark. Rebound Lamar Owen. He had it, lost it. Loose basketball. Indiana State comes away with it. And here's Boo. Elliot Boo, left side. Penetrates, kicks to Adler. Moss leaning in. That won't drop. No, and look at the, there's Mr. Falker again. Another rebound. Moss is. Moss is having a not exceptional offensive night, obviously. David Moss on the night, one of seven, just three points. Here's Falker inside, just manhandling Amani Danish and a chance at a three-point play. He just muscled himself inside. That's strength right there. They're playing him one-on-one -on, -one on this, as you can see. Now, here he catches the ball. Nobody drops, nobody helps, but right there, and he's already in deep. That's a big, nice basket right there. If Southern Illinois can win tonight, it'll be victory number 25. They'll go to a 15 and three. That's what they'll wrap up their conference record at. The 25 wins for Chris Lowry would uh, match Matt Painter's 25 wins in his first season a year ago. It's really a little harder than that. I want both of them to understand that <laughs> it's harder to do than that. Thrown out of bounds by Boo. Turnover against uh, Indiana State, number seven on the night. Mitch Holtis and uh, Chris Piper are standing by at uh, Wichita State tonight for senior night, game two of our doubleheader. Big ball game protector for, for Wichita State. They need to start feeling good about themselves. I'm sure playing home in front of that big crowd, they'll enjoy it. Good game for their opponent as well. Oh, no question about that. Inside Falker, but he travel. Substitution for Indiana State. It'll be Eric Gray back in the ballgame. And a very infrequent rest for Mr. Moss. He plays virtually the whole ballgame. 
Here's what I thought might happen a little earlier. Send some people down the floor, particularly with Boo in the game. Ray leading in. Won't fall. Gets his own rebound. Now it's Boo. Wide open. He says, I got to shoot this and missed everything. Yeah, that's one of those, you've got to shoot it because you're open. And that's wide open. Tatum penetrating. Whistle on a foul on the floor. Very hard to penetrate as quick as, as Tatum is. The defense for uh, for the Sycamores is at, at the head of the circle primarily, and then they're playing soft, trying to keep people in front of. Them. And that time Trudeau reaches in. That's that's what you can't have happen. You can't have Southern going through the seams on you. That's Tatum recognizing the mismatch as well. His speed. How about yeah. that off the inbound? Darren Brooks now with uh, 18 points in this ball game. And right now you're at the critical point for both teams. It gets to nine, about 13, 12 and a half minutes to go. You've got to, if you're if you're Southern Illinois, you want to extend it to double digits. And obviously, if you're Indiana State, you're trying to cut this thing and keep it close. I'm telling you what, you watch this guard tandem for Southern Illinois. There's not a lot of teams that have better guards than what they've got on the floor with Tatum, Kirsten, and Darren Brooks. Adler knocks down the three, back to a six-point lead. So that's the play right there, extended possession, and then you get the three. Now if you can get a stop right here. Look at that, Tatum. Inside, no good. Pulled away, Amani Danish. Whistle and a foul. Owen with 11.44 to go in this ball game. Mike Dale will check in for Southern Illinois along with Young. We step aside. The NBC presented by State Farm. Game one of our doubleheader. Watching Fox Sports Set. 43-37 Southern Illinois. Curtis Lorenz and our Metro Sports crew. They tell us, read this. So that's what we do. Time now for this date in history. Brought to you by the Renaissance Grand Hotel St. Louis. 1977. One of his legendary performances. Larry Bird collected 47 points. 19 rebounds. The Sycamores won at Butler. 80-65. to All during Bird's sophomore season. Renaissance Grand Hotel St. Louis. The official St. Louis Hotel of the NBC. You'd have to think you were going to be pretty good later on if you had a sophomore doing that. <laughs> you would think. Well, not bad here. Like we were saying during the break, Coach, down by six with the basketball. It's the number one team in this conference. Now, this doesn't look like the top and the bottom of the league getting into it. No. Adler trying to feed it inside. He does. Warren reaching in and called for the foul. Josh Warren, the senior. Borgia. The thing that happens to you, that possession, there was, there was good defense for 26 seconds, and it's hard for a center to, to maintain position with all the bumping and things that go on. Here's Gabriel Moore. Played a lot of minutes. And Tom Anker. He's, his scoring, he's been a double-figure scorer. Ooh, three down. And he just kept the three. Trudeau shot that in rhythm. The one he shot before was one of those got to shoot. And now you're looking at a three-point ball game, and you you, know, you have to start being concerned with your Southern Illinois. Six-all run. Brooks almost had it stolen away by Gray. Beats it inside. Shaw from about 10 and splashed it. That's not very freshman-ish right there. He's made two very good offensive plays. Team plays with a lot of points, don't they? They do. Reflection of Brooks? I think so. I think Brooks in particular causes that. Adler, a little pump fake inside. Trudeau thought about the three. Looking for help. It's Donish just inside the arc. And he's got it. Ronnie Donish having a heck of a game. 16 points on 7 of 11 shooting. Hanging around, hanging around there. And doing it at home. Brooks off the screen. Steps back with defense. Here's Shaw. Back to Brooks. Now Dale. Thought about the three. Steps inside. Under 10 on the shot clock. Tony Young. Hands with a travel. They don't get it. <laughs> I might tend to agree. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> that time for sure. We have to commend Indiana State. The Sycamores are 10 and 18 overall, 5 and 12 in this conference, and Royce Waltman is going toe to toe with the number one team in this conference. It's headed to the field of 65. It's it really isn't a shock because Royce's teams have always, and I'm talking about always, played extremely hard and been very fundamentally the same. A three will tie it up. That rattles out. But it was an open look. And the right man shot the basket. Nine and a half to play. We talked about this during the pregame show brought to you by Marshall Wireless. Coach, uh, the fact that Southern Illinois, after winning on Saturday, wins over Northern Iowa last week and Wichita State, two huge wins, might be a little flat tonight, and I think we've seen that. Now let's give Indiana State credit, but Southern Illinois has been a little flat. Brooks to the goal. Boy, is he tough. 20 points tonight for Darren Brooks, the player of the year in this conference, possibly. Well, if he's flat, I would have liked to have five flat <laughs> players like him on the floor every game. He might be the one exception to that flat count. He's not flat. He's playing very well both ends of the floor. Both teams have shot an even 50% in this ball game. Boss turns it over. Tony Young. Pulls it back wisely. Good decision there. That's what Lamar Owen didn't do in the first night. Of course, that got him to return to the pine. Darren Brooks, what a night. 20 points, 7 of 8 shooting. Perfect from the free throw line. 5 rebounds, 3 assists, and a couple of steals. Deep 3, no good. Now that was deep. It was an open look, but that, was, uh, that had some range to it. Stetson Hairston will check in at our next whistle, and Royce Walton takes a timeout with our score 47 42. Full timeout. 8.08 to go. The FBC presented by State Farm. She had her license for 45 minutes. Pencils for Kids Smart. More information call the Valley at 314 421 0339. 314 421 0339. Eight minutes to go. They've got the basketball, and that's the kind of night it has been for Moss. Unbelievable set play coming out oh. of the timeout. If you're Royce Waldman, you're sitting there thinking, what in the world could go wrong with that? Everything was set, players executed, oh. and it just doesn't, it just doesn't get finished. And you get your top scorers averaging 16 a game to slam it home. The pass was there. He is one of eight shooting tonight. Here's Mike Dale penetrating. Lost the ball. The Falkers there. Seven and a half to play. Falker, the pick. Young steps up. Free throw line, no good. Rebound to Indiana State. Five point lead for the Salukis. They will be the number one seed at noon on Saturday. Nice pass inside and a chance at a three point play. No, inadvertent whistle, so they keep going. <laughs> That's what that was. Nice play then coming off the screen by Moss. Catches the ball, draws traffic, makes the great feed, and now here we go with a three point game under eight. Yelovich had it inside after that great feed. Here's Dale, he'll try a three, has the key, no good. It's tied up, Shaw had it, lost it, and it's in the hands of Gabriel Moore. Well, how about this, a three would tie it up. Gabriel Moore is very quietly, he's hit, he's hit at least one open shot, but he's been able to keep the Salukis at bay. He's handled the basketball very well. He had been scoring, Dan, until his injury. He scored in double figures. Foul on Stetson Hairston. As this game goes uh, further and further, deeper in, you can just get a sense of confidence from Indiana State. Royce Waltman has to be pleased. 6.30 to play, only down by three. He's up by three with six and a half to play. Time now to take a look at the Nestle Purina scoring schedules from around the valley. Brought to you by Purina Dog Chow. Incredible dog food, incredible dogs. Of course, we've got our game here tonight at Indiana State with a lead of three, four. Speaking of our friends from Marshall Wireless, it's 47-46 Southern Illinois. Our call of the game, and it's a good one here on a heads-up play. Falling out of bounds, Eric Gray with our Marshall Wireless call of the game. It's your communications consultant, Marshall Wireless, now probably carries singular wireless. Good hustle play right there. As we said, maybe Gabriel Moore a little out of control. Moss with 15 on the shot clock. 47, 46, Southern Illinois. 
number 10. Here's Gray, open look for the lead, no. But it's kept alive, hit back by Amani Donish. Nicely done. Nicely done by Donish. Donish has had one of, the, one of those nice nights where things have really worked well for him. 16 points for Donish. Under five minutes to go, can Indiana State grab the lead? Down by one point. Oh, David Moss is having a tough night. Well, he's got number one chasing him. And when Brooks is on you, life gets hard. Now big possessions each time down the floor. Four and a half minutes. Foul's not an issue for either team at this point. Tatum chucks the three. No good. Falker inside. And a whistle and a foul. Offensive rebound for Randall Falker. Now with five rebounds. Falker is, I'm telling you, his, just by being active, here's the missed shot. He just gets good position. He understands. He gets away from the shot, and then he goes and gets the ball. Now, this is not Falker's strong suit. In the conference, he's only shooting 31%. Have the rims been kind tonight? Oh, man. That's at least two on this end, and one on the, the one on the other, the three-point shot. Whose was that, Dale's? I believe, yeah, you're right. It was Mike Dale. That he, was already, he was already on the other side of half court <laughs> when the thing finally dropped. Hits a ball. Guy shoots 31%. What's he do? Steps up and hits two. Especially when they needed him, too. Yeah. Back to a three-point lead. Gray leans in. Tough shot, Eric Gray. That's on the curl. So there's obviously a good screen set right there. That's too quick if you're Southern Illinois. Gray in double figures with 11. 49-48. Loose basketball, and it's going to be Southern Illinois. Fans want to travel. They don't get it. No, that was probably correct. That was on that play, two screens by Falker. He tips the ball loose. He's, doing, he's, he's got a lot going on. He's busy. Kirsten Tatum. He's had a tough night shooting. Quick hands by Moss. Tatum's got it. Over and back, no, because Moss hit it over that side. The fans are uh, experiencing some turmoil here. Yes. Down to five on the shot clock. It's tied up. Jump ball. Indiana State has got it. And we take a break. With 3.21 to go. What a ball game. Game one. Southern Illinois, 49. Indiana State, 48. Set. Southern Illinois with a lead of one. There you see the timeouts and the foul situation on both sides. Dan McLaughlin, Charlie Spoonauer, the Valley presented by State Farm. Don't forget about Aeropostale, proud sponsor to the Missouri Valley Conference. If you're looking for the hottest athletically inspired clothes, look no further than Aeropostale. Fun game. Fun game. The band, a good band. at the Lotto Ball game. I think this is a good band here. The Holman Center. Mentioned the uh, crowd a little bit sparse, but they've been treated to a very good game, maybe treated to one of the biggest upsets in the uh, conference this year. This will get interesting right now. Set play here. Let's see what we're trying to run. Last time off the step, uh, set play, they were able to get lost the basketball. Here he is, leans in. It's been that kind of night. But he dives on the floor to tie it up. It's still loose. And it's going to be Southern Illinois basketball. Chris Lowry applauding the fact that they get the timeout. That means that we take a timeout. Stetson Harrison limping to the sidelines. 49-48 in favor of the Salukis. Here's the ball. Here's the hustle play. You see four or five guys. Stetson Harrison gets in the middle of it. There's four down. And the timeout, very alertly called. Heads up play by Lamar Owen, sixth man of the year, a season ago in the Missouri Valley Conference. He had quite an extended stay on the bench, but he came back and made his presence felt there. Tony Young off the timeout. Here's Brooks inside the arc. Darren Brooks, 22 points on the night. Eight of ten shooting. Nice job there. They're, they executed very, very well. And got the man shooting the basketball that uh, Chris Lowry won. 51-48. Can you remember a time tonight that Brooks has 
forced a shot. I can't. I mean, he's been that good. No, he's he just. I'm telling you, man, he's so under control. It's amazing. Hey, but you you look at him, and, and there'll probably be people say, well, he's not going fast enough, or or is he? Can he do this or that? He can do whatever he needs to. He's he's just a really good player. Adler to the line, a 67% free throw shooter. Every point so crucial now with 2.23 to play. And the bench to our right, so frustrated there because you force a bad shot by, by Moss and then you don't go rebound the basketball, which is unusual when you've got Falker and Owen in the ball game. Trying to cut it to one. And he does, hits them both. A game like this, even though Southern Illinois is heavily favored, they're on the road. Who was his favorite down the stretch of the tight ball game? Got to thank the home team. But the thing that's, that's been a problem all year is closing a game out if you're if you're in the end state and hitting the big shot. Tatum to Falker with a two-man game there. Falker steps inside and he travels. Well, that and on that occasion, of course, the clock was running down, but probably Falker was not who you wanted making the move. I thought it looked like a pretty decent move. Though. Said the left foot just uh, moved a little bit, skidded. He jump stopped, and they uh, gave it back to Indiana State. There you see the look at the uh, turnovers. Adler, under 20 on the shot clock. Under two minutes to play in this ball game. Looking for help. Little back door. Now he's got it. There's more. Ten on the shot clock. Imani Donish finding help. Adler puts it on the floor. And a foul on Jamal Tatum. With Chris two, Lowry can't believe it. The two on the shot clock. This is this has been defense for. 33 seconds, very good defense. No one can get a look. There's Adler and there's the reach in right there. And Adler has had, after missing the, the three when he sort of threw it up there, he's had a very, very good day. Oh, well, I jinxed him on senior day with him, him being a senior. Salukis, Indiana State trying to pull off a monumental upset. The final regular season game for both these teams. Brooks to Shaw, swing it left side. Wow, big, big threes as Tony Young hit it. That's what Tony Young did in the Wichita game, right there. Hit a shot just like that. Under a minute to play, Ray trying to answer. Other side leans in, jump ball, Randall Falker. Back to the Salukis. And the ball comes to the Salukis right here. And we'll step aside, a timeout will be taken. 54 to 50. Southern Illinois. Make sure and stay around as Mitch Holtis, Chris Pfeiffer standing by. The Panthers of Northern Iowa will take on the Wichita State Shockers senior night at Wichita State. That's at uh, 8 o'clock following our game, Central Time. So stay with us. The doubleheader continues right after this. Big ball game for Wichita State to, uh, to start feeling better about their uh, about their season. Also, cosmetically, to get to 20 wins is good. Young gets the inbound. Immediately they foul Young. See, that's only the fifth team foul. They have to foul now. Right. Because later on, there's only 47 seconds. You're going to, you may need to foul and force, of course, Southern is a good free throw shooting team. Southern Illinois is, but you, you may have to force somebody to show you. Quick foul again. That's one of the silly things about it. You, you, you stress playing a good defensive game, and, and they have. The United States played a good defensive game, but now you, you're forced into fouling, and playing the way they've played has worked to their disadvantage for a second or two here. Shaw will have a seat. Jamal Tatum is fouled immediately by Gabriel Moore. So if the Salukis can hit their free throws, they can walk away and uh, pick up 
their 15th conference win. This is a team that shoots very, very well. Number one in the conference, well over 70% as a team, and at the line goes Jamal Tatum at 74%. Yeah, that's, that's the bad thing, that, or the problem that you face when you're playing Southern Illinois because everyone shoots free throws well. Ooh. <laughs> that, that went sort of sideways, but yeah. it went in. It's that kind of year for Southern Illinois. Been that way for four years, Coach. <laughs> Big possession right here for both squads. A fairly quick basket needed by Indiana State. Down by six, leaning in more, no good. Tatum is foul. 28.8 seconds to go. Six-point lead for Southern Illinois. A little learning situation right here for Gabriel Moore. He's, for the freshman, I'm sure Royce Waltman's telling him right now what he wanted and who he wanted to have with the basketball right there. That was sort of a contested shot. Tatum hit the two previous. Now three of three. One more bat, one more free throw right here. It's it's already now a three three possession game, and that makes it very difficult. Now things do have to happen quickly on the, on the white shirts in the floor. Under 30 seconds to play. Ray leaning inside, and he's fouled. You wonder where this Indiana State team would be. But David Moss does not go two of 11 from the field tonight. Well, I think you're going you're gonna to have to pass out some credit. When they look at the tape, they'll say that the fact that number one was defending him, yeah, that's, 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 it makes it hard for, uh, for Ross Waltman right there. Yeah, this is, this is the situation you, that you get into. Now, the good thing is that you, you're scoring with, without the clock running. And if you can get a steal, then things get a little bit hectic for the, for the solution. Six-point lead. And checking in the ball game, Elliot Boo. Now, this will either be a steal on the inbound pass, and if, if the ball is caught inbounds, you've got to foul as quickly as possible. Kirsten back in, Shaw out. Ooh, almost a steal off the inbound. Now it's Brooks, and it's Hairston in the front court with 12 and a half seconds to play. When they didn't get the call on the foul on the first run by, then yeah. it, it cost four and a half seconds right there. Six-point lead for the Salukis. He hits this and uh, closes it out. Pretty much. One free throw here makes it very, very difficult right now. I'm not going to say impossible because I've seen some crazy finishes yeah. this year. Think about uh, your former team, the Running Rebels. One of the craziest finishes of the year. Down 10 with 28 seconds to go. Lonnie Donish gets a standing ovation as he heads to the sidelines. 16 points on senior night, 7 of 11. Ball game. Should be. Should be the game right there. Eight point lead for the Salukis. Moss will try a three. Missed everything. And 3.6 to go as Tatum stepped out of bounds. Don't forget we've got game two coming up from Wichita State. Little relief showing on uh, Chris Lowry's face. This is this was not an easy game. This is going to go down as an eight or six point game. Going to do it as Brooks pulls down another rebound. Got poked in the eye. He seems to be all right. What a year in the regular season for the Salukis. They finish up at 15 and 3 in conference play. They'll head into the conference tournament at 25 and 6 and the number one seed at noon on Saturday in St. Louis. And this was not an easy game. People will look at that and say eight points. Well, they probably coasted to this. This was a very hard basketball game for, for SIU. Coming off the, the very emotional win, full house, that, that changes things. You have to go on the road and nobody's for you, so you got to take your hat off to the Salukis, though, because when they had to, they dug in. 
What a first year for Chris Lowry. 25 and 6 as they wrap up the regular season. We're back with more in a moment. Courtside after a win for Southern Illinois. 60 52 is uh, Royce Waltman addressing the crowd here, senior night for the Sycamores, but uh, they go out a loser tonight, 60-52, and uh, another very good win for Southern Illinois. Not the sharpest of victories, but yet they get the job done on the road, Coach. Got the job done. That's the main thing, and I think you'll probably have to go back and say, well, Brooks. I mean, he just, defensively, he's, he's so much a part of everything. Offensively, he hits big shots. He hit the threes when they need him. He's just, he's good. And then, I'm telling you, the guys coming off the bench are gaining confidence. That That's... A luxury to have at this point in the year. Let's take a look at our uh, players of the game, and we'll start with the man that you're talking about, Darren Brooks. This is brought to you by State Farm. Brooks, 22, 5, 8 of 10 from the field, perfect from the free throw line. You mix in a couple of steals as well. He does everything. And you see Falker setting the screens. That's there, and there was Warren screening. And then the drive right there could have been there. People are there are people around him, but he's just got a knack for finding a spot, and then he just slashes and gets it done. Now on the other side. Let's talk about the player of the game for uh, Indiana State. Amani Donish, terrific game with 16 points and seven rebounds. Well, he played well in the first meeting. He was, we showed that he was 13 and 13. He got off to a great start, and he was very much responsible, particularly with the fact that uh, Moss was not scoring the ball well at all tonight. And Donish ran the floor, he played hard, and he hit, there's his jump hook he hit. That might have been a little bit of uh, something that he would have changed a little, but he got it off the glass and got it in. Well, we're told that we'll be visiting with the head coach of the Salukis, Chris Lowry, momentarily. But uh, from a coach's perspective, Charlie, you look at going into the postseason tournament. You want to win that thing. The last three years, they've won the uh, regular season championship, but not the conference tournament. I think last year, I was from talking to the assistants, they they felt like when they went into the tournament, they were probably a little bit tired and not at, just not at the top of their game. And I think this year, they're going in fresh with a bright outlook. They're coming off win, 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 win. And you've got to like you've got to like their chances. They're just a very very good basketball team. They they don't have any appreciable uh, holes, and they're so much better. I think Dan, than when we go back and think of the first ball game we had when they played, uh, I guess it was Drake. Remember when Drake zoned them or, or did right. anything to change tempo? They they didn't react as well to it. Now I've seen them the last two of the last three nights, and they've done now all that very well. And they very well could see on Saturday, depending on what happens on Friday night with Indiana. Of state they could have a rematch against a Royce Waltman and the Sycamores that very easily could happen but uh, like we were saying if you're Southern Illinois and uh, the thing that you, you hear from all their fans is we want to win that conference championship we want to see that team not only win the regular season but win that postseason tournament and that's something that Chris Lowry I know is stressing in that locker room right now well fans only want to see you win about three more <laughs> than you've even got scheduled so I mean we could, that goes without saying I think what Chris Lowry's done he's uh, he sold his guys on continuing to defend and play hard and and they've just they've maintained they've done a very very good job I my hats off to him and his staff they and his players they just they've done well the thing that they need to do now when they go to the tournament is uh, if they can just relax and play and and let things sort of fall they've 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 painted themselves into a pretty good spot right now absolutely they're off to their best start you have to go back to the 1969 1970 season and as you compare this team to the last three for Southern Illinois it's right there well there's no question that a lot of the same players and the, as the more they win the more more times that Brooks wins he's he's making quite a legacy of course so Stetson Harrison that's 101 wins for him right my goodness I mean in, in four years that's quite a deal so I just I just think that people ought to enjoy this ball club uh, it's a, it's a very good team and and they play. They, they play the game right. They're very unselfish, and they defend, and that's what I like about them. They defend, and most of the time, they rebound exceptionally well. Well, we're going to stay right here. We're getting you set for game number two of our doubleheader. Darren Brooks apparently will join us here momentarily. He's on his way over. This is live television, so you just don't know, Coach, what's going to happen. So they say go to break. Then we're not going to break, so then we stay right here. We're going to throw a headset on what very well could be the player of the year in the conference, back-to-back, -back, and uh, that is Darren Brooks, another solid night. The youngster from St. Louis and uh, Jennings High School. Darren, 
eight of ten and uh, three of five from the three-point territory. And uh, congratulations. It's just uh, another business-like performance for your team. Uh, thank you. Uh, we came off a great win the other night. I uh, just wanted to continue, you know, playing well. So we came here with the attitude. We're going to win this game. You know, get ready for the NBC tournament. Aaron, I'm sure everybody's going to talk to you about your offense because that's all most people care about. I thought you defended exceptionally well. Thank you. Uh, I take a lot of pride in playing defense. You know, David Moss is a great player. Uh, he's been a great player his whole career, so I knew I had to play great defense on him for us to win this game. What's it like in practice? You, Dale, Jamal Tatum, you take a look at Harrison. You guys must get after each other. We get after it. I mean, guys are hurt, bleeding <laughs> on the sidelines. But you like it that way. Oh, yeah, we love it. You know, we help each other up. You know, it's all fun, but we really get after it. You know, it's like a football practice, but, you know, I love those guys to death. You're going to buy a Falker a cheeseburger or something because he sets a few screens for you and goes and gets some rebounds. <laughs> yeah, Ron is a great screener. You know, he's probably our best screener, uh, one of our best rebounders. So, you know, he get, does a great job of getting us open. Let's take a look at uh, some of the highlights here for Darren Brooks and walk us through some of the stuff is what you're trying to do. Well, I'm going to get you an analyst role here, so fire away. <laughs> Well, they were going lot, around a lot of screens the whole game. And coach just told us to, you know, change the uh, big guy to change the angles. And that's to come back and try to make shots. And tonight my shot was going in. And, you know, my teammate did a great job giving me the ball. One more final thing before I let you go. You've got Chris Lowry. He's the third coach that you've uh, had. Bruce Weber. Then you go to Matt Painter and Chris Lowry. What's that transition been like? To be honest, it hadn't been a hard transition. You know, all of them came from the same system. You know, all of them were here coaching at one point in time. So, you know, the only uh, hard part was just adjusting to their uh, personalities. Uh, once we got to adjust to everybody's personality, everything was smooth sailing. Well, congratulations. We'll see you over the weekend in Arch Madness, and uh, good luck. All right, thanks for having me. You bet. That's, that's uh, Darren Brooks. He was the player of the year last year. Very well could be this year as well. Stay right here with us because uh, swapping seats. You bet, Darren. Good to see you. Swapping seats will be uh, Chris Lowry, the head coach of the Salukis, and uh, getting his headset on. And the uh, coach, I talked to you over the weekend, and you were you were pumped. <laughs> what, what's your reaction like tonight after a game like this? Kind of workmanlike attitude by your team out there. Right. I, I knew we were, it was going to be tough for us, um, you know, with the kids having such an emotional um, last two games at home, Northern Iowa and, uh, you know, Wichita for all the marbles. And, and we talked about it in the locker room. Um, I let the seniors talk, and I let those guys share some experiences. But I wanted them to come out here relaxed and, and not feel like, you know, it's a trap game where, you know, no matter what we do, we're not going to win. Because I think they felt that way going to Northern Iowa last year after that emotional win against Bradley. So we, I, I try to lighten up the moment. And I tell you what, the last three possessions, Darren, I asked Darren, I said, the next three possessions, what are we going to run? He told me three different things, and we <laughs> ran all three, and we, and, we, and, we, and, we, and we scored off of them. And you just, I mean, that type of leadership and that type of understanding of our program and our system um, with him leaving next year is, is, is stuff that you, people don't understand. You know, you, you look at his stats, you understand that, but the stuff and, and it's how cerebral he is about, about the game is just unbelievable. You're getting good at this interview stuff. Huh? <laughs> How's the old coach taking this? We know the players. Darren's doing a good job. How are you doing? How are you holding well, up? I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm drained, basically. You know, it's been such a ride, an up and down season, a lot of stuff going on off the court and on the court with our players. And um, it's just been it's just been great to, to see our kids stick together and fight uh, for championship. Charlie and I were talking about this. We're going to take a look at our Rawlings play of the game. But the fact is, your guard play is exceptional in this conference, but you've got so much depth. A guy like Young can step up and hit some big shots for him. Right. We talked about, um, we ran a set right there for Darren, and he gave it up, and that's what makes him so special. And everybody made the right read on this play. Matt Shaw reversed it. Randall, Randall Falker flared Tony Young's man in, and that was the right read throughout the whole the whole segment. And, you know, that's just a part of what we do, sharing the basketball, sharing the juices. Falker does a nice job setting screens. Darren mentioned that, too, but he's done a nice job setting screens, playing within himself, rebounding the ball, and guarding. Right. He's been He's kind of been the guy that's really taken us to another level. Um, you know, he, he had a lot of accolades out of high school, tremendous rebounder. Now you're starting to see some of the things that we wanted out of him earlier, uh, which is it's the right time. And I, and I told, you know, a couple other people that I'm glad our freshmen have progressed as slowly as they have because now they have energy to finish out the season. 20 seconds left. What would a conference postseason championship mean to a team that's won the regular season the last four years? I think everything because we've never won it. And we got so many kids from Missouri. I think we owe it to our fans to win it. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Great job. Chris Lowry, the head coach of the uh, Salukis. Big That's win late. tonight. Boy, what a job he's done in his first season at 25-6. Uh,
15 and 3 in the conference. And of course, coming up next will be Northern Iowa and Wichita State. And that'll be a good ball game, Coach. Yep, they're going to have to play awfully hard to do as well as these guys did here tonight. So long from Indiana State.